Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the vector and parametric equations of planes. Um, so, what we're going to start with is this plane. And we have a point in the plane. We're going to call the point x0, y0, z0. So that's a point we definitely know is in the plane. That's going to come into play. Um, and then we have two vectors. Um, so a vector a, which will be this green vector, which has components a1, a2, a3. Um, and a vector b, which has components b1, b2, b3. And we're going to say that those are, um, so it depends, I like to say that they're in the plane, that, which strictly speaking isn't really the right way to say that. Really, if I, if I knew the normal vector to the plane, and I dot product A with it, I'll get zero. If I dot product B with it, I'll get zero. But I like to just say they're in the plane because it makes it easier to talk about. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use this as my initial point for a new vector that I'm going to make. And then I'm going to use a linear combination of these vectors uh, to get from the initial point to the terminal point. And the terminal point is going to be another point in the plane. So let's say there. And what I'll do is I'll make a vector from my initial point to this terminal point, which will be the point x, y, z. And so I'm going to make that a vector. x minus x, 0, y minus y, 0, z minus z, 0. So I have that. And what I can do is, if I look, I can add the two vectors, multiples of a and b, and end up at that other terminal point. So maybe I'll go like this. Um, and that would be t times a. So t, I don't know what it is, but some value of t will move me up there. And then I'm going to complete uh, the triangle, kind of, uh, by going like this. And this vector would be some multiple, so I'm going to say u, times b. And if I add uh, the vector t times a plus u times b, if I add those two vectors, I get this vector that I had uh, x minus x0, y minus y0, z minus z0, okay? So I'm going to use that and actually use that to create the equation of the plane. So what I have is this. So that is kind of the generic vector that I made in the plane between the point x, y, z and my initial point. And then this should be equal to, and you can see it in the picture, it's uh, t times a plus u times b, where t and u are called the parameters. So the vector equation, as I like to use it, looks like this. So we're going to have, uh, what I do is I like to do x, y, z, and then I move the, the, so you could say it's, the vector x, y, z minus the vector x, 0, y, 0, z, 0 is on the left-hand side there. I like to move that vector over. So I'll get this, x, 0, y, 0, z, 0, and then plus t times a, and plus u times b. And that's actually the equation. That's, that's one way of writing the equation. And t and u are called parameters. And I can easily expand this, let's put a box around that, I can pretty easily expand this into the parametric equations. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking at the vector equation that I just wrote, and I'm going to get x is equal to, so uh, remember the vector a is a1, a2, a3, and b is b1, b2, b3. So it's going to be x0, and then plus a1 times t, and plus b1 times u. And then I can go, and I can read that for y, and I can read it for z. And that'll give me the parametric equations. Uh, so this is kind of two new ways of writing the equation of a plane. So hopefully you already know the Cartesian way, where you end up with uh, something that looks like a linear equation. So let's take a look at an example. So I have the point 3, 2, 1, and the vectors a and b. And first I'm going to write the vector equation. So the vector equation, which starts with x, y, z, it's going to be equal to, so I write the initial point as a vector, so 3, 2, 1, plus t times uh, the vector a, and plus u times the vector b. So what I'm saying is, if I add any linear combination of a and b uh, to the initial point written as a, ve a vector, I'm always going to get another point in the plane. Um, and I can take this and I can turn it into the parametric equations uh, simply by reading off. So x is 3 plus 1t and then plus 3u and so on. So I get this. Okay, so let's say that you've already done the problem and you did it using, um, you know, you found the the cross product of a and b, and that would be normal to the plane, and then, uh, so you write your equation this way using the point, 3, 2, 1 is the point in the plane. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you that uh, a point that comes out of the parametric equations is also going to be a point on this plane. So just trying to kind of verify that for you. So say uh, we use t is 1 and u is 3. If you do that and you plug into the parametric equations, you get that x is 13, y is 13, and z is 0. So I'm going to go up to this equation that I wrote and substitute it. So I have negative 7, and then 13 minus 3, and then 7, 13 minus 2, 
and then 7 and 0 minus 1. And if I expand this, I get negative 70 plus 77 minus 7, and that equals 0. So it worked out. All three forms are equivalent. They're just different ways of writing it and representing it. Um, and I hope you found this helpful. So good luck.